Hello, I'm going to show you now how to replace the screen on an Acer 4830 series computer laptop. It's recommended before you do any repairs to any computers to remove the battery. On this model, you only have to remove the cover to disconnect the battery. When you uh, remove the cover, it flips a little switch into the off position that disconnects the battery. Removing the bezel is very simple. There's only two screws. They have little screw covers. So just take something pointy and kind of jab them out. They're sticky so you can use them again. Remove those two screws and set them aside somewhere safe. Make sure to give yourself also plenty of room, plenty of workspace just in case you should drop a screw. The bevel just pops right out, so just pull straight up and separate it all along. The bottom edge kind of hangs in here so you need to open it so that it uh, pops out. There are four screws that hold this monitor in place, or sorry, the uh, screen in its frame. Remove those four little screws and set them aside. You can lay your screen down. Be very careful when you remove this tape around the cable, the single cable that uh, plugs into your screen. You don't want to pull too hard on the cable itself. You don't want to damage that. So remove the tape that holds it in place and then separate the cable. You can uh, press it out on the sides. There's little edges that you can grab there. Set that old screen aside. <laughs> Grab your new screen, which should have a protective cover on it. If it doesn't, place down a piece of cloth to keep your new, uh, your new screen from getting scratched. S carefully slide that cable into place on your new screen. And tape it down, either using the original tape or replacing the tape if you need. Whoops, let's see, your screen should just sit in position while you place the new screws into place. This is about where I like to take off my screen cover before I put the bezel back into place. You don't need to worry about the tape that's st stuck between the uh, frame and the screen. It's not going to harm anybody. It's kind of how they manufacture it anyway. Snap that bezel back into place. Snapping it right here can be a little bit difficult, so I like to close it and press it down there. That snaps it into place. It works for me. One and two screws. In place. Make sure to use your fancy little screw covers. If you can find them. Oh, look, there it is.
Put your battery case back into place. Screw it in. And if you've done everything right, you should be able to power it on. And the screen should be clear.